thanks for tuning in to this presentation of The Path Forward. This is Daniel Workman. I am joined by Chris Kessel of West Virginia Soccer Association. Chris, how are you doing? I'm doing great this evening. Thanks for having me. So we are going to talk through and look at the path forward for U.S. soccer, creating a system that is connected uh, vertically, horizontally, connected with the state associations on all levels. You are bringing into alignment and into, into one vision, one purpose, all of these clubs, they, they are finally going to have the reason to be sanctioned by U.S. soccer so that they can be a part of this pyramid, so that they can be in this collection of clubs, in this collection of leagues. And, you know, I, I met with a TV executive uh, last summer and presented this plan and this pyramid system to this TV executive. And my example only included 300 clubs, which is just a tip of the iceberg, the number of clubs we have in this country. So my example was 300 clubs, 10% were considered professional, 20% were considered semi-professional, and then the remaining 210 were considered amateur. And I said, you know, a good portion of these would likely be what, what I call generational clubs. So they would have youth academies as well as adult teams. What would that collection of 300 clubs in that scenario connected into one system, connected, you know, through, um, you know, commercial and, and, and uh, association? And, you know, what would that look like uh, from a, from not from a TV deal, but just from a sponsorship perspective, what would that look like if, if there was a, a collection of 300 clubs like this in an open system? And the, that person said to me that, that they felt it would very easily be worth $100 million per year. Now, if we think back to earlier in this presentation, we were looking at how youth soccer alone is a $5 billion a year business. It's, it's not a far stretch to imagine a world where 300 clubs is worth 100 million or a thousand clubs is worth three or 400 million. Um, and so this, this idea that it's better to go at things alone uh, is, is futile in my opinion. It, it, if we look at the history of American soccer, even, even major league soccer has struggled and continues to struggle to connect because it is not connected. It is so isolated. The Federation has an isolationist mentality when it comes to the world. And if we could, if we could get away from isolationism and instead look at connecting and being in things together, working together in cooperation, that, that, pool of clubs, that collection of leagues is going to be far, far in a way, a greater asset than individual collection of parts. That sum of clubs and leagues is going to be worth, you know, much, much more than, you know, 10 league, 10 clubs in one league trying to be professional. If that, if that was the, the tip, of, of the pyramid, this NPSL Founders Cup was the tip of the pyramid. And there was leagues existing beneath that, that were working their way towards that. All of a sudden, even those 10 clubs are worth exponentially more. They are able to leverage so much more than just those 10 clubs and just those 10 markets. Now you might even begin to, to build fan bases outside of your local market just because some of them are going to be able to see, hey, that you know that that's my club in the in the first division, right? And, and you see this around the world where you you'll see people latch on to a club that's in the first division. They may have a local club that they're a fan of, but that's their club, you know, in the first division. So you would see some of those things get replicated. Where right now, what reason does does a kid in Alabama or a kid in Texas that is nowhere near Dallas or Houston? 
or, or a kid in, in Montana or Idaho have for being involved or, or emotionally and financially invested in, in any clubs in America that there isn't one. And it, and so, you know, this idea of creating um, connection, creating opportunity, turning the lights on for every city club, community coach player in the country is, a, is critical. And, you know, uh, I, I look at this and I go, man, we, we need everyone coming together. We need the NPSL founders cup, collection of teams we need the npsl you know to 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 see where they are and and find a path forward we need the clubs in the upsl and the gcpl and the mountain premier league we need all these clubs we need the the clubs that are playing in state leagues and in local leagues to 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 all come into one system to come into one um association and by doing that we, we begin to tap into the potential of American soccer, which I believe can be the greatest soccer country on earth. If we unleash it, if we make, if we make opportunity and access the priority and we do that by connecting everyone. And so, you know, one of the things that when we look at this, this pyramid system, you know, if, if you slot it in, the NPSL Founders Cup or NPSL Pro at Tier 1, there really isn't any existing leagues that would fall in a place of Tier 2 or Tier 3. NPSL would would look um, much like Tier 4. And then the GCPL, the Mount Premier League, uh, some of the UPSL leagues would – would be natural fits in that tier four, tier five level. And then you get right into tier six and tier seven. So one of the things, Chris, that I was thinking about is how do we, as, as, as we work towards this, this end work towards this connected open system, how do we begin to make it stable and provide opportunity, invite investment into the pyramid, even from the beginning with so many, you know, gaps or holes in the pyramid. So one of the things that I was thinking about was doing something called accelerated promotion, which would basically mean that, you know, uh, until a division has been filled via promotion from a lower league, any club can increase their initial divisional sanction by investing in a development fund and that fund would then share all of that revenue with the clubs sanctioned in the divisions lower than the club uh, it would be entering. So if we were to kind of look at this pyramid, if, if you were, if you were going to be, let's say there was a collection of clubs, they wanted to form a league at the tier two level, conference level, you know, division two. In that scenario, they would basically – be paying a, a tiered payout to all of the clubs in tier three, tier four, tier five that are in the, you know, U uh, S ASL um, association of, uh, of soccer league system. And that money would be, would not be kept at the, the association level or the league level. That money would go into this fund and go directly to each of those clubs. So it, the, the way I think about it would be like going to Disney world and you buy a fast pass. So you don't have to wait in line. So while there's some open slots, now once they're filled, this thing's over. You can't, you, you're going to have to win your way to, you're going to completely win your way to the top. But while things are getting constructed and while there are, you know, large gaps in, in this system between, you know, a national say founders cup NPSL pro level and your tier four NPSL classic level. Um, one of the things that we could do to bring investment into the pyramid and make all of the clubs in the pyramid healthier, faster would be to do something like this accelerated promotion idea. And now all of a sudden, you know, if you had five, six, eight, 10, 12, 20 of these clubs come into uh the the league system through this type of program you might be a club in the fifth division and all of a sudden you just got twenty five thousand dollars 
And, you know, I, I know from, uh, you know, from meeting with some, some local clubs who play in the GCPL, like that would make a massive, massive difference to, to their operational level at, you know, where they would fall right now would be, you know, tier five. So that if, if it was like 25,000, it may even be more than that would make a significant impact on their ability to, to reinvest, to operate, to try to be ambitious and grow. And so, you know, I think, I think looking at and, and being creative in, in terms of connecting clubs and connecting leagues, doing something like this um, would be a way to invest, bring investment in, and and make the the system healthier faster 